five is at 350 and it's the C Corp handicap over 2200 metres. The replay horse is number three, New Age, winning at Bunbury on November 26th. As they'd fanned, New Age led, quickens up, Reef Keeper down the outside. Now starts to make its presence felt. Bell Montgomery back behind those, Black Beal, but New Age with a kick, Pike goes to work, shrugs them off, New Age, comes away and is going to win it easily. New Age by three, Reef Keeper, Bell Montgomery and Black Beal, and that's how they... That was a tiny little field, but still quite a dominant win from New Age. The only query I've got with this girl is that it's her first time around Ascot, still in yet another relatively small field. She jumps from barrier number three, and she looks the one to beat. The five, a talking dancer, goes in for second. She broke her maiden in pretty good style at just a start number two at York. She was really tough to the line, third up now. I think she can run a bit of a race. The eight, Nunsa Tarindus goes in for third. I thought he stuck to the task well when two and a half lengths off My Fair Beauty at Bunbury. Another horse that is a third up, so fitness should be coming along. And the four, Persistence Time rounds out the four. I thought this horse dug really deep in the run to the winning post to bit, beat Miss Aruma Mill at Bunbury. Look, persistence time will probably need a little bit of luck from a wide gate here, but I think this horse can certainly give this race a bit of a shake with the way that he's been going. Race number five is the race that we're talking about, and it's the three New Age that goes on top from the five talking dancer, the eight Nunsa Turindus, and the four persistence time. Race number six is at 4.25, and it's the Dorsonia handicap over 1,800 metres. The replay horse is number six, Rojo Kalor, finishing a fifth at Bunbury on November 15. Corner and then Express Ella, the veteran though at the 2.50, new time, kicked away by two, Rich Red, King of Wu back on the inside, ominous warning, down to the 150, it's new time in front, Rich Red now the blue nipper, starting to switch around the heels, getting through, King of Wu coming at new time, King of Wu on the outside, new time, the rail, they went to it, locked together. Thought he was a touch disappointing in that race and didn't look to have a whole lot of excuses. I thought he's run prior to that when a length off Ruling Angel was really good though. There is plenty to think about here. He jumps from an outside gate and has to run the 1800 metres for the first time. But the Justin Warwick stable is absolutely flying at the moment and Chris Parnham takes the ride. The six Rojo Kalor goes on top from the eight Queen B who I thought was really impressive a last start when just a length off a duck feet at Ascot at the ripe old odds of 160 to one, if you don't mind. This girl draws ideally in barrier number four as well. She should run a pretty good race. The nine, I'm a love man, is my third pick. He produced good late splits, went in behind persistence time, a last start, and can figure here. And the one driving me wild is the fourth selection. This boy broke his maiden in pretty impressive fashion last start at a northern man can go on with it here and test a few of these out that's for sure this is race number six and the top selection is the six rojo calor the eight queen b goes in for second from the nine i'm a love man and the one driving me wild race number seven is at 5 p.m and it's the tab touch perth cup new year's day handicap over the mile the replay horse is number five our mate al finishing ninth at Ascot on November 22. Into the corner and then Express Seller, the veteran though at the 2.50, new time, kicked away by two, Rich Red, King of Wu back on the inside, ominous warning, down to the 150, it's new time in front, Rich Red now the blue nipper, starting to switch around the heels, getting through, King of Wu coming at new time, King of Wu on the outside, new time, the rail, they went to it, locked together. King of Wu. His numbers don't read all that great, this preparation, but I've just got a feeling that he's about to spring a surprise here. He was well off them in that replay, but his last 600 metres was the equal quickest of the race. He's fourth up now, and I think he should be given every chance from barrier number two is the five, our mate Al, on top from the one, Special Delivery, who is as tough as nails again in saluting at Northam. He's picked up two wins from his last three starts and gets weight relief due to the claim. The only worry here is he draws the outside gate, so we'll need luck in running. The two, Senso, goes in for third. This is a horse who also draws wide, so 
Will need a few favours in the run. He was two lengths off Kruahan and Goma Whipple, who dead heated last start. Look, he's had a real crack in his last three runs and expect him to do so again here. And the nine, Rock Giselle, goes in for third. She did a fair bit wrong, but was still too good at last start at Northern. The current A team, the team of the moment, in Matthews and Carberry team up here with this girl and I think she can certainly be there about when the whips are cracking but going with the five our mate Al in race number seven from the one special delivery the two Senso and the nine Rock Giselle. Race number eight is at 5.40 and it's the Yellow Glen handicap over a thousand metres. The replay horse is number three, La Patron, finishing fourth in a thousand metre trial at Belmont on December 4. And then came La Patron and still back last is Noble Image. Noski's got a good hold on him, illustrious tycoon though. It leads by a long neck. Ms. Lecky is shooting thrill on the inside. So it's Ms. Lecky and illustrious tycoon. Ms. Lecky the inside. Illustrious tycoon. Ms. Lecky doing the better work. Comes away. And Ms. Lecky beat illustrious tycoon. I'm expecting another runner from the Daniel and Ben Pierce yard to run a really nice race fresh here. Her first up record reads pretty well. She's scored twice from four first up runs and she draws ideally in barrier number three. In for second, I'm going the 12, Orange Strudel, who looks the main danger in a reasonably even race. A run of three placings for this girl ended last start when she finished fourth behind Kimbo's girl at Bunbury. I still thought it was a really good run, however. The one show honey goes in for third. This girl was a three-time winner through the winter. She trialled evenly coming into this. She's drawn a barrier number four, and she also goes quite well fresh. And the two, Invincible Warrior, goes in for fourth. This boy is another who trialled quite well leading into this race, and is another that's drawn pretty well in barrier number five. The last event on the program, race number eight, going the three, La Patron on top from the 12, Orange Strudel. The one, Show Honey, and the two, Invincible Warrior. On to my two best bets for the program, and they are both to be ridden by Chris Parnham. I'm going race five, number three, New Age, and race eight, number three, La Patron. Of course, you can check out comments on all of Wednesday's runners, plus comments on a few of those under the radar runners on our Perth Racing website. We'll be sure to check out our social media platforms. That's it for this edition of The Box Seat. All the best to you on the punt at Ascot on Wednesday.